When it comes to outpainting, there are a lot of different guides with a lot of different techniques. In today's video, I show you a technique which I personally think is the best for outpainting. For this, we are going to use Control Net. I challenge myself to explain the installation in 40 seconds or less. Don't believe me? Let's go! If you haven't installed Control Net yet, click on Extensions, click Available. Click load from, search for control net, click install and then click installed and apply restart. For everything to work correctly, I suggest you close your control window and restart automatic 11.11. After you've done this, you go to this page and you download the models you want. Always take the PTH file and the YAML file. After the download, you go in your stable diffusion folder under models, control net and there you throw both files in, the PTH and the YAML file. This was close, but now let's get started. For model today, I'm going to use Cyberrealistic 3.1. It's a very good model for creating hyperrealistic art. First, prompt engineer an image that you like. Ideally, something with a landmark, like a castle or a person in the center. I'm going to use this image. Now, send your image over to image to image When I started with outpending, I used a script called Poor Man's out painting. It's a beginner script, but the results are mediocre, so don't use it. First, we set up control net. We scroll down. Down here, we click on in paint. If the model isn't loaded, you either downloaded the wrong model or put the model in the wrong folder. We switch in paint only to in paint only plus llama. Llama is also an AI model that is specialized for in painting, and this is a combined approach to get the best of both worlds. In my experience, when using InPaint plus Llama, the results look a bit cleaner and more concise than just using InPaint only. Down here, we choose Control Net is more important and we choose Resize and Fill. Because just Resize would do this to the image and Crop and Resize would make it look like this. For the image itself, we set up the resolution we want to achieve. I use 1024 by 768. We let the sampler as is for now. We want to set the denoising strength rather high. Between 0.75 and 1 is the best because we want to introduce a lot of changes. I set it to 0.9. Let's not forget to enable control net and in here we have to load the same image we already have in image to image. And then we render. So this is the result we got. I think it's awesome. A short intermission. If this video has been helpful to you, a subscribe would mean a lot. What it does for me is it gives me an indicator that I'm building an audience and that I create helpful content for people. Thank you for doing that. In one of my next videos, I show you a pretty good method to upscale, but for now, let's stick to the simple workflow I showed you in my last video. For this, we just say send to image to image. Then we click here resize by and set it to 2. So, but we have to make some changes to the settings. We have to disable control net. The denoising strength I set to 0.2. We set the sampler to DPM++ to M caras. Yeah, and let's see. These are my two results. Pretty awesome, don't you think? So, for my next trick, we have to move over to text to image. What I'm going to show you now is that you can outpaint images that you didn't even create with Stable Diffusion. Click inpaint, control net is more important, resize and refill. So, and here you load the image from your drive. The only thing you have to do is you have to know what the image resolution is at the moment. I know it's 600 by 900, so let's make it 1024 by, yeah, let's, let's keep it at 900. So, and then we can generate. These are our results. This time I used in paint only. I didn't give it a prompt. You can do that. I will show you in a moment what it looks like. These images are with in paint plus llama, and for me, I have have a clear winner. Images look cleaner, much more realistic. If you liked the in-paint only version more, that's okay of course. That's just subjective perception. Please experiment for yourself and find out which model you like the most. I also rendered this. For this I used the prompt girl in medieval city full moon heavy rain. I think it looks magnificent. 
And now for something completely different. In my last video, I made one mistake. Thanks to my awesome community for pointing this out. When in painting, I told you the whole image would be downsampled. That's only the case when not using mask only on in painting. When using a mask, the in painted area has the resolution you set up. That's why you can increase the details with in painting. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, this was a mistake from my last basic workflow tutorial. If you struggle with your AI, Art workflow, I suggest you watch it next.